All right, so I decided to read some more chapters. I actually read chapters 15 through 19, but I won't give you a review on 15 through 18. Uh, chapter 15 is called Burn the Place Down. Uh, what it's telling you to do is, of course, uh, he wants you to do too much. Um, he says, you know, people that avoid coming at you, asking you, uh, following up. It, it's better to fail by following up too much and pushing some people away than it is to fail by, you know, saying one time, providing an opportunity, and then never asking again because you think you're bugging somebody. Um, you know, great opportunities are being presented. So if they're great, you should definitely try to give the person the best chance of getting in that opportunity with you. Chapter 16 was a pretty good chapter. It, it's called Fear is the Great Indicator. So it's saying uh, fear is an indication of many things. If you feel fear about something, then that is your indicator to go after it. So let's say you're doing a business call. You're afraid to call somebody because maybe their status or they make a lot of money or have a lot of power. That means that is a great step for you. That fear is an indicator that you should call that person. Let them know. Anytime you feel fear in any situation, you should just do it. So he talks about all the corporations that he went after that he was afraid to do. As soon as he felt that fear, he went after that business. As soon as he felt that fear of that call for that, that big businessman or uh, another corporation or product or whatever it may be, the salespeople coming in, he made the call on the spot. All right. So uh, he says the biggest uh, thing that's going to hinder you when it comes to fear is time. All right, so he says the more time you have that you let yourself think about it, the more fear you will get and the less you will do. So he wants you to be active. Uh, he doesn't want you to let that fear feed off of its number one thing that likes to consume, which is time. All right, so chapter 17 is more about time. All right, so this is kind of opposite of what I, I thought a man like this would say. He says, uh, the myth of time management is chapter 17. Um, I actually thought he would say uh, time management is exactly what you should do. Be perfect at it. But um, he kind of goes away from it. He, once again, he says it's a myth. Uh, he just puts his priorities straight. Uh, number one priority of the day, writes his goals down. And makes sure he completes his priorities as best he can. Uh, he is a firm believer in seeing where you can uh, eliminate time. So... Instead of marking your schedule from always morning to night, he does suggest to go in and uh, you know just mark what you're doing. You know, take a week, see what you're doing uh, through a daily schedule, and see what time you're wasting by you know playing Xbox or uh, you know just playing games on Facebook, being on Facebook in general, and see what time you can cut out to dedicate to your passion, uh, to your fortune, to your success. So chapter 18 is criticism is a sign of success. Uh, this is something that I get, you know, uh, I do network marketing as well and I love it, but some people don't, uh, some people don't get it. So uh, it says criticism, uh, it, it's actually a positive sign. It says with success, you will create more problems. More successful you are, the more problems you will create. The more people that will try to put you down, say that you're doing too much or it's not gonna work, the products aren't right, you know, the payment's not going to work with me. There's no way that you can do this. Just all sorts of things. So the more criticism you get, this means that you're doing well. So keep up the good work and, uh, you know, welcome that criticism with open, open arms. So uh, my conclusion with this is just, once again, just push through everything. Go full force for your passion. Go 100% all out. You know, do more than that's necessary and welcome any comments, whether they're good or bad. So if you uh, like this post, then of course, you know, email me, tkdblack2012 at yahoo.com. Like, comment, and share this, guys. You know, support, and I like to hear from you. So the next video will be up soon.